Hey guys. Listen, I got some tune. A black acrylic ink that I'm using. I'm using it for a couple of reasons. One, I think I'm digging the black on this better than acrylic paint. <laughs> it dries faster. It doesn't bleed on Santorini rocks. And it's so dark. One coat is all you need. Oops, I'm way behind here. I gotta catch up. There we go. So with the ink, I'm not really lining, lining. I'm just catching this. Okay, I'm lining, but it's not, it's not like lining with paint. It's so much easier. And when you're doing silhouette, because you're line from the inside, if that makes sense. So work from the inside. So these are going to be some really cool nail products tonight. I was looking for a way to make snakeskin cells, you know, without having to go all paint pouring. <laughs> so I've come up with a few different things. Um, well, okay, I didn't come with, up with it, but I found a few different ideas. You know, I don't even, I don't know if it's better, but I'm liking it more, the ink on Santorini. I mean, it's so crisp and that's all ink and it's waterproof. I mean, I would still seal it, obviously, but... Um, you know, Margie, that's a good question. I'm not sure how it does in the sun. This is like calligrapher's ink, so I'm thinking it might do okay. It's color fast, so, but color fast doesn't necessarily mean it holds up in the sun. It just means it holds up for, you know, some amount of time. You can, um, I, for, I should have looked it up, Dollar Rowney, you can look up their color fast rating. Um, I'll look that up and see if I, I'll post that information in the description. Good question. <laughs> A couple of new products, but don't fret. I think most of it everybody has. Okay, I think it's one new thing. And it's here, I'll show it to you so you can check it out. It's called You, I don't even know how to say that, You Shining <laughs> Nail Gel DIY. Blooming gel is the main thing you need. This is a five in one and it's very thick. So I got it. It's basically a resin, but it works differently than resin because what I'm going to do doesn't work. I tried it with resin, with top coat, with base coat, with you know everything that I had and it didn't work so when I got the blooming gel it worked and blooming gel basically what it does is this these are white dots I took a dotting tool and added white to top coat and then added those dots on top of the blooming gel and it blooms it blossoms out it's made to do that that's what they make a lot of flowers with on nails 
So it worked pretty good. It's really not that expensive either. And it got here like overnight. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what I'm working with tonight. <laughs> and of course it requires a light. Um, and I think any of them will work. I believe I used my little handheld light. And then I put it in the big one to finish it off, but I think the 6 watt would have worked okay. The 6 watt works fine on like other nail products, just not the nail glue. The nail glue on rocks. Nail glue on fingers, it works fine on. So I really believe it's temperature related. Like bodies are 98.6 degrees and rocks are who knows how cold, but very cold. 50s or 60s. Always, they're cold. They feel good to me. <laughs> Hold firm in a point when you're working with um, top coats, nail gels, and color. Apply a thin coat. <laughs> I say thin. This stuff is really thick, and it takes it a minute to even come down the, the bottle. So if you sit it um, this way while you're working, then it'll be ready to go. I have this... Uh, basin over here where I rinse my stuff here so I just sit it in this hole so that it can you know gravity can help me <laughs> yay it's early over there guys that's so great because it's like yeah almost 10 here my husband's like you're doing what you're going you're what <laughs> yeah I'm going live at 10 or at 9 I guess so Anyways, I'm going to put a small blob like that. It's very, very thick. And I'll show you the blob. You see how thick that is? Okay. So it's basically a thick resin, and it's called 5-in-1 Blooming Gel. Because it does a whole bunch of things. It's a blooming gel. It's a builder. UV builder so you can build up your nails with it. You can make like a whole fingernail with this stuff. It came with these forms so like you can make na fake nails with it. So it's in place of acrylic I guess. So anyways thin coat thin coat so this is going to go all the way down the gecko to the tail but not down the tail we'll do that after we do the body. So I'm basically going to come down in a point right here, like so. Oops, hang on. For some reason, my chat is disappearing on me tonight. Yes, you can use these brushes again. Um, you just need to rinse them in alcohol. I'll show you here how I'm cleaning them. UV products are different than paint. They're, you know, you got to kind of work them a little bit and then help them to spread and then let them settle. Okay, I'll leave that like that. And then I just keep a little cup or dish with some alcohol and swish 
and then I keep some shop towels cut up the blue kind because you want no lint or less lint and make sure you just reform the brush and it's good to go for later and then put your little alcohol cup to the side we're also going to be using the neon pigments which those aren't new <laughs> I'm also going to be using a white oh this is the other thing this is a white gel paint it's just a white I bought a white and a black I think they were like $4 um, together and they came with something too I can't remember if it was a brush or what it was but Yelna I'll have this um, link too and top coat so I'll line this up for you <laughs> just so we get an idea here what we're working with that is I need the white one nope. number one by Yelna top coat this one and these guys so that's what we're doing tonight To get this this next bit's fun so instead of mixing our paint with whoops see that's how it dries <laughs> the watercolor from last night instead of mixing our paint with water and gum arabic tonight we're mixing it with top coat this is the backings to the mailing labels these work perfect for a paint palette. So first thing what you're going to do is drop some top coat. And it doesn't take a whole bunch, so just a couple of big blobs, about that much. And then some of the white. See, it's very, very white. So we're going to put that right next to, so then you take a tissue or that towel <laughs> and wipe off your tools. And you're going to want to cure this, but don't cure your products. So give that a cure. This was such a cool little find. So you're not looking for a full cure, just to stop it from moving around, you know. So if it's still sticky, we're not worried about that. Okay. Now, take more top coat and however many colors you want to use, I used blue, purple, magenta, red, orange, yellow, green, and then went back into the blue. So I think there were six or seven colors, six, I think, six or seven. So I'm going to put down some dots of top coat. You don't need a lot. Serious, just a drip for each one. And that's more than you need. I'm gonna put seven because I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember how many colors I did. All right, and your brush that we were using for the black ink application. Open <laughs> carefully. Remember last night I exploded a orange neon <sighs> powder. So we're working with those. Very carefully open your powder. I'm going to open the ones I want to use here. Move all your stuff out of the way. So neon yellow.
Oh, yay. Trina, you like to dot. I'm a terrible dotter. <laughs> so these are my kind of dots. Ones that aren't uniform. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. So you must, you watch Susan Nelson? Love. Yeah. Oh, it's eight colors that I'm playing with. Huh. How about, oh, wait, I got an extra one. No, it's seven. This one I'm not using. Okay. So, you basically just take your brush, just a tiny, tiny bit of the top coat. I don't even, you can't, it doesn't even really register. See, the end there is just wet. And grab about that much color and mix it with your gel top coat. Okay, you might need a little bit more than that, but not much. I did these out of order, silly me. Okay, we're gonna start in the right order here. Okay, so up here, you just kind of paint it on top of the white, however far you want it to go. And this is top coat, so it's going to be your sealer. So don't get it out on your rock, but seal up your... You can put another coat of top coat on if you want to, but... See how pretty that makes it? Just brings the color right up. So we'll move into the next color. You don't have to uh, rinse your brush or wash your brush or anything. Just pick up some pigment, some purple. Green. I'm going to make it green. I'm in Texas. Yay. <laughs> Feel like we're clubbing it. I needed this music last night, huh, Bambi? <laughs> Turn off the lights. We're doing neon again. Now we got the club music going. So I'm ombreing at the green yellow juncture. <laughs> That's funny. At the green yellow junk. <laughs> Texas. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Texas is in the house. Woohoo. Any more yellow? Real yellow. <laughs> 
got to get it out of the orange. I'm starting over, over here. So Katie and I have a live tomorrow night on Facebook, 7.30 p.m. Central. We're doing a hippie peace sign. Yay! And I have had a request come in today to bling that baby out. So I don't know if Katie's blinging hers, but I'll be blinging mine. <laughs> and we're going to be using pens. That's the um, topic, pretty much. All right, I'm going into the blue here. And I'm kind of ombreing them into like a turquoise kind of. Okay. I'm going to touch up up here, add a little more blue, purple very quickly, and then we'll give these a cure, and then we'll move down the tail. Just vivid up the colors. gonna hit it real quick with this look Ooh, neon fun <laughs> man it glows so much Hey, Julie, no, I'm sorry. I didn't tell anybody I was coming on. I just decided to jump on. Actually, I think you guys asked me, and I was like, no, no, not tonight, not feeling it. And then, you know how you get an idea, and then I was feeling it. So, so I'm kind of doing this like the tail's turned in a bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so kind of like it's tip, like we're looking at it from the side, I guess. And then these, I'm just going to walk the dots out so they go smaller. There. Hi, Lonnie. Sorry. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I just have to go. <laughs> some more blue and purple. I don't need much, but are we talking about the shoes? Yeah, I have the opportunity to do some Gucci's um, to do a um, special design on there and then also some Versace's. So, um, 
it's pretty exciting actually it's not for those companies they're for a client but wow right what an honor to be paint someone's shoes <laughs> Oops. Did you guys see what I did? I forgot to cure it. <laughs> okay, cool. We didn't get too far. Whew. I'm glad I just didn't go in, you know? All right, move your thing away from your paint so you don't cure your paint. I think I got a little heavy-handed with my neon paint over here, so it kind of washed out some of the snakeskin cells, but still... Hopefully you guys are getting the idea of how I did the other one. Secure. You don't have to cure it all the way, just enough to stop it from moving around. So if we're looking, so yeah, I got washed out a bit down here. So maybe don't go as. <laughs> Yeah, Bambi, I still do it to this day. I mess up and forget to cure before the foil. So, I guess it goes to say, why would I not forget here? Huh? Looks like jelly, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. I didn't do the legs on the other one yet. You guys have any ideas? What should we do? Should we just paint them glossy or should we, uh, you know, all right, I'm just going to take an alcohol wipe, do a little quick cleanup here. And on the clean side, get my rock a wipe. Make sure all the neon's off of it. Neon's hard to get off once it's on there. <laughs> it's stained. Clean your hands. All right, nail foil glue. Got to switch out the top coat because they look identical. Just so you can see, I'm not crazy. See, <laughs> too easy to get those mixed up, right? Okay, so nail art foil glue. I think I will use it from this tonight. Okay. Now for that, we need the six watt light. Come off. Hang on. Sorry, y'all. Had to rewind the cord. Okay, got the light ready. Now let's foil. And I'm just using the same brush that I had. Easy to clean with alcohol or acetone. Prefer alcohol with UV. Acetone is better with regular nail products or soaking off UV products, but to clean your brushes and stuff, alcohol is less aggressive and just as effective. You know, I might use my little flashlight too. I like that. If you guys are having problems with bubbles and wrinkles and your glue over curing or under curing, Use your flashlight until we can get the light thing figured out because lately, even Katie and I have been having trouble a little bit, not knowing <laughs> what's causing it. I think it's humidity in Texas, but since we're both having the same issues. That's totally cute. Oops. 
So I'm just using this side, so I'm going to cut up the center of my foil here so I can leave it on the roll. I'm going to cut it about enough for three more toes or three more feet. Thank you, Julie. So we got, oh, I hope I did enough here. One. It'll be close. I'll finish it with this one. Oh, I'll just trade these. How about that? Ha! Huh. See? It's a puzzle. Okay, guys, what I do with my brush. There it is. Oh, sorry. I don't. <laughs> when I got on tonight, I did it differently because I didn't schedule it. So I just jumped on and it was like pre settings or something got me all mixed up here for a little bit. <laughs> sorry, guys, if I've been missing all your comments. I'm going to go ahead and cure all three of these ones that are left together. So do you, if Katie and Julie, do you guys notice the music tonight? Oops. Okay, so we got a big line on one side. <laughs> a bumpy tail. <laughs> Goodness. Mr. Bumpy Tail.
And I'm going to black out the toes. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the music. I know I keep saying that, but I'm totally surprised. <laughs> it's like, okay for these weird silences, right? <laughs> Hey, maybe I'll find a whole bunch of different genres and have different, like, you know, we'll have disco night. We'll have, like, disco and then 70s and classic and who knows. <laughs> maybe, um, you know, if there's, there doesn't seem like there's that much free license, so. But if it's all good, <laughs> definitely have that. Put the brush down, walk away from the art. <laughs> Do you guys have that problem? You never know when you're done. Alright, which side is up? Is that up? I think so. I think that's up today. Yeah. I never know where to sign it. So when I went live, did you guys get notifications? Because I didn't send any special. Oh, I did hit the uh, messenger. That's right. Not beforehand. I got on and then I <laughs> messaged you guys while I was on. But did you get it anywhere else other than in messenger? blurring out huh so I got to figure out how to fix the autofocus on YouTube also so Bambi are you do you have the bell on for the notifications on YouTube because I've been hearing that it works half the time <laughs> doesn't always work but if you check every once in a while for that bell make sure that it's on all so you can receive notifications when I'm on live I'm having deja vu we we talked about this didn't we <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
And then with YouTube, is it, um, you just get a YouTube notification, so you have to be, like, on YouTube to see it? Or, because I, I don't think I've ever... Okay. Awesome tool to pick up your little rhinestones. Let's see, we want toe size. I've got a little spot. If you have, like, a little area. I'm going to go ahead and cure this and then scratch off that icky spot I don't like when it's done curing. If I can find my scratchy tool. <laughs> okay. Let's get you curing. I'm going to do it in sections. I don't know where my little scratcher went. Hmm. I don't remember using it yesterday, but probably get it off of this. Make sure you clean all your tools real good. Give them an alcohol bath so that if there's any glue or resin or top coat or whatever you've been working with on them, it's off. So you don't risk touching it, spreading it. Almost done, guys. Thank you for hanging out on this late one. For checking in and seeing what was up. Making sure I hadn't lost my mind. <laughs> Clean up your rock if you got any spots on it. Flash on. Oh, it's so cool. Look at the, um, the, I don't know what that would be called. What is that called? <laughs> There's a word for that. I forgot what it's called when it spiders out like that. Mr. Gecko, you're pretty handsome. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Katie and I will be on tomorrow, Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques 7.30 for the hippie peace sign, the sky. Yay, check in. Um, it's going to be pens. Oh, hoo hoo alcohol ink pens, uh, like Chromatech watercolor pens, um, Posca pens, O2Lee's. Things like that. You could even use watercolor pencils, you know, but tools. We're going to be using tools. All right. So make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and uh, give me a like if you liked what you saw here tonight. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Ta-ta.